and today I have rented my trusty steed to go exploring the island. The problem is I didn't check the fuel when I first left off and they've left me on empty. Don't know if you can see that. Anyway, tally ho. Safety first, old chap. Okay, I'm all fueled up. The lovely lady behind me filled the tank up. So, we've got some miles in us. It was 160 baht, which is, what, a couple of quid. And the bike actually for 24 hours from the hotel cost me, I think it was like eight pounds for the day. So, a cheap little excursion. Let us set off, full of fuel and endeavor. No idea where I'm going. There's no signs or fuck all. Riding on the range. I've got my hat on. I've got my boots. Dusty. I've had to pull over to see where I am. All the while, the faster I go on this bike, the more this helmet pushes back on my head. Like, I'm trying to impress the Thai ladies here. This is not doing my street or bike cred any good. You know, and look at it. It's basically like a fucking eggshell on my head. They've dressed me up like Humpty Dumpty. Also along the way, I wouldn't mind finding like a, uh, like a nice beach bar or somewhere to get a mocktail. The worst comes to the worst, I'll stop off at one of the thousands of 7-Elevens along the way. Okay, it's pit stop time. Definitely, I need a drink. It's mad how dehydrated you can get on a bike. Hey, doggo. I love dogs, but that one's dribbling and looks a bit mangy. Oh. It's the first time I've offended a dog. Got me Coca-Cola, full fat, and me uh, bottle of water. Your healing, your 
healing. So I found what looks like a little beach bar place. I'm gonna see if I can get a gonna see if I can get a drink in here. Because the view looks pretty good as well. Hello, can I sit outside? Thank you. Not being funny, but this view is absolutely spectacular. Mango sticky rice. That is what I'm gonna go for. Now, as my friends will tell you, um, I don't know that much about food, apart from whether I like it or not. I can't explain to you exactly how it's made or what ingredients are in it, apart from rice and mango, obviously. Um, but anyway, let's try it. I don't know if this sauce is supposed to go over it. Let's try a bit of mango first. Mm. Yep, mango is good. That rice is sticky. Let's get some of this. questionable sauce over it. I think it's supposed to go over it. Ooh. Let's try this pineapple drink. Mm. Sorry about the moobs in shot by the way. There's nothing I can do about that, it's hot. Okay, just paid for my meal, that was really nice. Come to 210 baht, which is about, I think it's about four pound 50, something like that. Bye, thank you. There's a beach club behind me that I'm just gonna quickly check out. Shiva Samui, I'll be waiting, ever searching like the sun. Live forever for the moment, ever searching. For beach clubs. Oh shit. Oh, oh. Speed bumps. Don't do that to me. Oh, that looks. Nice little spa. another spot with another cracking view a little bit of debris down there that never hurt anyone oh, I think I found my chair over here cheers It makes you wonder sometimes how places like this stay open. I mean, I only came in here because I'm lost and I saw the sign as I'm going up the road and I turned around and came in here. There's three more people in the pool and then there's one other person over um, sitting down. But how do they make the money to stay open? I've almost seen more staff than customers and it's sad because it's a nice little spot. I mean look, 
Well, that was a nice, another little stop off in Shiva Samui Beach Club. You always see um, with the little shrines, the little Buddhist shrines, that uh, there's always like little drinks left on the table. I don't know exactly what it means, but it's some kind of like offering to the gods or something. There's always like little, little red drinks or little drinks of water. Thought we might find that interesting. Edge out, mirror, signal, manoeuvre, and we're off. Okay, this is going to be the tough bit on the gravel. Oh, I've got to concentrate straight on here. I want to know what love is. Want you to show me. The old king of Thailand. Hello, your majesty. Hey, hey return of the king. <laughs> Oh well, that was a nice little adventure. Been a little scoot around the coast, getting lost, stopping off for a bit of food and a few drinks. Uh, handed the bike back in, no deposit needed for any scuffs or any marks. Uh, so you could say that was a successful mission. So only thing left for me now is to um, get my trunks on and go and cool down in the pool and get a nice bottle of Leo to uh, to finish the day off. Anyway, see you later.